What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another unboxing video and today we're going to be taking a look at the DS-118 Disc Station NAS uh, by Synology. Uh, so I picked this up off of Amazon.com for about $180. Um, it was actually pretty decently priced. Um, I do also believe it was on sale as well. So let's go ahead and open it up here and see what we got inside of here and what is included. Firstly, we of course see the actual unit itself here. So let me take that out real quick and set it off to the side. Uh, so up here in this top section, we have a few accessories, a Cat5e ethernet cable, uh, and then you have the power connector. And then lastly down here, we have a couple packages of screws, which presumably is used to install the hard drive into the actual device. Okay, so there is the actual unit. It is actually very small, much smaller actually than I was initially expecting it to be. Um, and this particular model has a quad core 1.4 gigahertz processor, as well as one gigabyte of RAM. So right here we have some ventilation, which is actually cleverly designed to be inside of their logo. So that's pretty interesting. Um, on this side, we have the power on and off button, which also has a power indicator. Then next to that on the top here, we have a few other LED indicators. One that shows you uh, disc activity. So if the disc is being accessed at a current point in time, uh, that will flash letting you know of that. Then you have a LAN LED, which lets you know when you're if you're connected to the network. And then you have a status light, uh, letting you know the status of the device, if there's an error or something like that. Lastly, on the back here, uh, you have a single fan, uh, which actually you can control the fan speed within the software, depending on how cool basically you want to keep the device. But it is nice that there is a fan included. Uh, to keep the hard drive and the internals cool while this is operating. And then over here, you have a few connections. So you have the power connection here, a Kensington lock, and then your ethernet connection to connect to your home network. And then you have two USB 3.0 ports, which is actually really, really nice to have because that actually allows you to connect external devices, uh, such as external portable hard drives, uh, flash drives, and whatever have you. Uh, and plug into this device and actually allow you to back up the content from those external drives onto this device if you would like to do that. And I do believe there's actually a function within the software that allows you to do the reverse and allow you to back up the contents of the actual internal drive within this device and back it up to that external USB drive. Um, so then you basically could theoretically get that redundancy that, that you don't actually get to have due to this being a single bay. So real quick, uh, I just want to give you guys a look at the hard drive that is recommended to use with this particular NAS and basically any NAS that you might pick up, whether it be the more expensive models, uh, you want to make sure you have or buy a dedicated NAS hard drive uh, because they are designed specifically to essentially run and be accessed 24 hours a day, 24 seven. So our standard three and a half inch hard drive could potentially fail sooner uh, due to it not being designed to be used in a device such as this. But basically, this is the type of hard drive you're going to want to get. The particular one I got here to install is the Western Digital Red Pro, and I got it in the four terabyte configuration. However, you can get it in multiple other storage configurations ranging from one terabyte all the way up to, I believe, 16 to 18 terabytes, uh, depending on your storage needs. Uh, but in my case, four terabytes uh, at this current point in time uh, would be plenty enough for what I'm going to be using this for. So that is basically it for this particular video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I will provide links to everything in this video uh, down in the description below if you guys are interested in checking it out. And yeah, hit that subscribe button down below. It is really greatly appreciated. Hit that like button as well. That is also really greatly appreciated. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything of such, just drop those down in the comment section below. And I will be sure to help you guys out the best as I can. And yeah, with that all being said, once again, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.